There are 12 men on an island. 11 weigh exactly the same, but one of them is slightly heavier. You must figure out which. The island, of course, has no scales, but there is a seesaw. The exciting catch. You can only use it three times. The 12 men question is a difficult one to say the least. 11 of these men weigh the same with one man weighing more than the rest. The kids would say we are of an imposter here. <laughs> I would say it's a fun brain teaser. But how do you actually solve it? Well, most people decide to split it up. Six men on each side, then three and then a You've used up all your turns and chances are, statistically speaking, you haven't found the answer. So, what about splitting the men up into three equal groups of four? Well, based on probability, if you find the pair which are affecting the weight before you run out of seesaw, then yeah, it is a solution. However, the probability of that is rather low. One in twelve, to be precise. We don't want a solution based on luck, we want some hard math and science. It's like drugs, only way less cool. So, the solution. It's very mathematical indeed and does not rely on chance. However, there is a very small margin of failure. To begin with, let's number our island men from 1 to 12. There we go. Lovely. I like man number 7, personally. However, let's not get sidetracked. You then tell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and of course 8 to get on the seesaw. If the seesaw moves in one direction, you can then tell the four people on the side that moved to repeat the action in twos, and then in ones, and you have an answer. However, if the seesaw doesn't move, we then move to 1, 2, and 3 against 9, 10, and 11. 1, 2, and 3 being our safety nets. If it moves, we can weigh 9 against 10, see there's a difference, however that is our margin of failure. However, if there isn't a difference and the seesaw does not move, we can say man 12 is the heaviest man. And we can place him on the seesaw one last time with any other man to prove our hypothesis. And that rather long and convoluted explanation does indeed tell us how to solve the 12 men problem. So maybe next time you want to ruin a family dinner, make granddad cry and grandma wish you'd put her in a care home, Ask them about 12 men in a seesaw. <laughs>